Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick unboxing for you all. Uh, this time this is a soldering iron which I had purchased from Banggood. It's from the brand Handskit. Uh, this is a 90 watt soldering iron and uh, this is a digital version. And uh, this one actually comes in two variants, 110 as well as 220. So I have purchased 220 because that's what we use in India. And uh, this arrived in around three and a half weeks of time frame. Let's quickly open it up and see what you have. You have the soldering lead and then you have the soldering stick itself and then along with that uh, you have certain tips then you have the manual as well as a, a stand so let's quickly see what it states let me just turn off the uh, flash I know it's uh, it's it's glaring so let me turn off the flash so it's pretty much states what it does and all that so uh, it's a 90 watt and it has a temperature up to 480 degrees Celsius and it has a digital uh, temperature sensor along with that you have the stand and then you have a wiping sponge you just have to wet that and keep it there so that is there and then you have the soldering lead which is in spring shape so that's pretty neat And then along with that you have uh, the tips so we have five different types of tips uh, which you could interchange which is pretty good and uh, finally the soldering st stick itself it's covered with a cap a heat, heat resistant cap and then uh, you have the soldering uh, stick where you could interchange it and then in the front you have the option of unscrewing it and then just pulling that uh, top cover off which would uh, allow you to remove the tip so that's the fine tip that's defaulted and that's the heating element so you just need to uh, insert and then uh, put that screw back in that locks the uh, the tip in place which is pretty good which is pretty neat and on the front you have the handskit branding and then you have three buttons one to turn on and plus and minus to toggle between the temperature and you have a small led display at the back you have the branding and you have a certain verbiage written and uh, this is the cable the cable is pretty long and it's made up of good quality now coming to the price guys this costed me around uh, 17 dollars which is equivalent to uh, say 1100 rupees i know it's costly but uh, the quality is pretty good i'm going to connect this to my power oak that's my trusty old power oak and as soon as you plug that in you have the display which says it's turned off you need to hold this middle button to turn it on so and once done it will increase the temperature if you see the temperature is rising and with the plus or minus button you could decrease the temperature i'm going to keep it at 259 and let's see so it's, it's increasing right now and also guys this particular thing also has an auto cutoff of 15 minutes so after 15 minutes if you don't use it it will turn off it automatically which is pretty good and then the maximum temperature like i said it can go up to 480 degrees celsius which is good So the temperature is climbing. So it, it if you, if you look at the time, guys, I mean, it hardly took a minute uh, to minute and a half for it to reach the operating temperature of 480 degrees Celsius, which is which is pretty neat. I'm gonna just decrease it to say around uh, 250 or uh, three ish, 300 ish, and. Uh, I, once you leave that it'll blink thrice and then that would automatically set the temperature so let me take the soldering uh, lead which I had uh, got with the order so it's it's pretty hot now so if you see the solder doesn't stick quite well so the, the, the tip is very hot the reason why I wanted this is because here in India I bought the Stanley one which wasn't that great so that's the reason why I bought this uh, so far so good guys works pretty good and uh, I have my Meko uh, 
multimeter which has a temperature sensor as well so i'm just gonna uh, show whether it it has an approximate temperature ranges as like what was mentioned so that's the thermocoupler as soon as we keep the thermocoupler on the tip of the soldering iron it increases the temperature i know it's not going to be accurate because we're just holding it in so there would be a little fluctuation but i just want to show whether this uh does work or does it bring up the actual temperature that shows on the display so it hovers between 250 248 225 so yeah i mean the reason is because i'm holding it with the hand so there would be a variance of temperature and also here it's on the on the top the outer of the tip so it will be lesser than the actual tip but yeah but this gives us an idea of how uh this this the, uh, the soldering stick is so let me bring it up to say 300 and let's see what the temperature on my multimeter shows up so it's slowly climbing so we did keep it at 300 ish and now it'll take some time for it to increase and also the thermocoupler is pretty thin so yeah i guess that's the maximum it's gonna hit so it did it did reach 280 degree celsius which is fine Overall guys, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, I know it's a little costly, but overall the quality, the finish, the fit is pretty good. Uh, if you're interested in buying this, I'll leave a link in the description below. You could go check that out. You could buy the product from there. And uh, one last thing is I'm going to bring it up to 480 and I'll show you until where it reaches. And if you like my content, do give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Stay tuned guys. And if you have any further questions, you could leave it in the comment section below and I will be happy to help you all. Thank you.